Well, thanks, Sarah, for, uh, for taking a few minutes to talk to me today. I'm really happy to have you here. I know it's, uh, you know, the start of a new school year, a bit of a, a weird one, obviously, for everyone. Uh, how has this first week been for you so far? Um, I find the adjustment to online school has been kind of chaotic. Um, I have a lot of asynchronous classes, and I find those ones are just kind of hard to follow because it's you just it's up to you. Um, as far as the lectures that have been live, I find them kind of awkward, but I think it's just everyone getting used to and nobody wants to really participate yet. Um, I have a Spanish class online, which I think will be kind of funny, but I mean, other than that, it's not too bad. Do you have like, are, are the, is it a lot of numbers like in these courses or, uh, cause I, I can imagine that would be pretty difficult, especially like a, a language course if you have dozens and dozens of people on at the same time. Yeah, we have 50 people in my Spanish class, which is bigger than what you'd have like in a normal um, class at UBC when it was um, in person. So that one's kind of crazy. I don't really know how we're all gonna participate. I think we'll probably do some breakout rooms. Um, and then the other ones are, yeah, they're like 80 people. So what was your, uh, what was your summer like? I know you, you live on Vancouver Island, no shortage of, of stuff to do, that's for sure. And, and the island was, has fared really well, obviously, so far during the pandemic. So what did you get up to? Yeah, um, I got to go camping a couple times out in Port Renfrew. I went up to Tofino, got to try some surfing up there. Um, been spending a lot of time in Lake Cowichan on the lake. Tried some wake surfing this summer, which has been lots of fun and just, you know, getting out in the water and enjoying the island and all we have here. Um, and, and I understand you, you started to take up uh, a bit of golf. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, um, I started doing some golf lessons this summer because I kind of told my grandparents how I was interested and then they got me doing the golf lessons up at Couch Inn. Um, which has been lots of fun to learn a new sport. It's definitely more difficult than I would have thought, but it's been really fun. Have you found any um, any parallels between golf and, and field hockey or any other sports you've done, or, or have you found it totally different to adjust to? Yeah, it's actually funny. Um, I find I realize a lot of my bad habits in field hockey come out in golf as well. Um, and just some of the things that I need to like focus on is just like, when my instructor is teaching me in golf, I'm like, yep, I've heard this before. I need to work on this. And, and then there's certain things that I do because of field hockey. And he was like, Sarah, that's field hockey. That's not golf. And I just, my swing's a little bit different, of course, because of field hockey, but it is, it is pretty similar. Do you think that, that learning a new sport will actually benefit you in field hockey as well? As I know, I, I hear a lot of other athletes, you know, when they start taking up something different, it, it's a different set of, set of skills, but in a way it can kind of complement what you already have. Yeah, I definitely think so. I think um, just like the whole, the softness of golf and just how it's, it's not, I find I tense up a lot in field hockey and then just like the swing and the follow through it all, it is all very similar in that way. Um, and then I've also been doing some tennis, which has helped with like my quick feet and stuff. I find those sports are really, um, applicable, which I didn't really realize until I started trying them. So what's, what's your training for field hockey been like? You know, so you're at home and, and a lot of your teammates are at home, some are on campus, but what have you been able to, to do in terms of, of keeping training during the summer and now that, that the fall is here as well? Yeah, so we've started um, training a couple times a week. Um, there's four of us from the UBC team actually in Duncan. Um, so we've been training together. We have um, two coaches that kind of rotate coaching us, and it's Caitlin Evans, who's an alumni from UBC, and then her husband, who's an alumni from the men's national team. So it's been really good um, having the four of us. It's strange, just the small group, but the practices have been pretty good, and we push ourselves um, and each other. And then my younger sister is starting her first year, so we've been able to keep up with the fitness programs and like the strength and conditioning together and have each other to always just like go down to the turf and play around with. How's it been uh, being at home with, with everyone there? It's, it's probably been a while uh, since everyone's been home uh, in September, eh? Yeah, so all of my sisters, I have three sisters, and we're all back in the same house for the first time in a few years. So it's been kind of chaotic. I mean, my dad's very outnumbered with the five girls in the house. Um, but it's been 
it's been fun. I think we're all adjusting and we're all a little bitter that this is the way it is, but we're, at least we have each other to lean on and stuff. So it's, it's, it could be worse. With your team, Dave, you've been doing some Zoom meetings and stuff like that. You mentioned how, you know, you have some coaches right there, which is awesome. But in terms of as a whole team, have you been having some meetings or how does that all work? Yeah, we typically have um, two meetings or so a week and um, we just kind of reconnect. We go over, I think we're planning on doing some tactical, um, hopefully some video sessions and stuff just to kind of like get the whole group together. Um, pretty consistently we've been able to update each other and just staying connected as a group has been really important I find especially you know not being able to be on campus together and seeing each other all the time is kind of a bummer but just like the more we're able to communicate um, I find the better we'll be when we all get back together. Aside from from getting back together with all your teammates and, and friends that you have on campus what else what else are you looking forward to the most once once this whole mess is is over and done with? Yeah, I guess just getting to study not at home, being able to go back into a, a lecture, like those things that I used to dread, you, I, I almost like miss, I guess now, and just being in, in a gym with all the other athletes and that social interaction. I mean, you really take this stuff for granted and it's kind of cliche to say, but you don't realize how important these things are until you don't have them anymore. And just being on, I mean, Vancouver Island is beautiful, but so is UBC campus, and I miss the beaches there, so I'm looking forward to that. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sarah, for, uh, for taking a few minutes to chat, and uh, great to hear from you, and uh, best of luck as the fall continues. Thank you.